Welcome back to Caring for Arizona. Let's jump back in to our next story. Congestive heart failure affects millions of Americans. It can be a difficult condition to manage, often resulting in multiple lengthy hospital stays. Honor Health was the first hospital system in the Phoenix area to treat patients using the CardioMem system, which includes a tiny implantable device and a special pillow that allows doctors to identify and treat congestive heart failure patients weeks before they show symptoms that could land them in the emergency room. What's even better, no routine doctor visits required as patients use the CardioMem system right from the comfort of their homes. Here's more. Congestive heart failure is the heart's inability to pump adequately to meet the demands of the body. If the heart can't pump the blood adequately, then the pressure in the vessels in the bloodstream, the veins and the vessels in the lungs may be too great. Fluid can pass through the blood vessel walls and make the tissues of the body soggy, if you will. Uh, the lungs can become wet and wet lungs don't work well. An extreme case of wet lungs not working well is drowning. Uh, congestive heart failure isn't quite drowning to death, but the lungs get wet enough that patients have a very difficult time breathing quite often. I have uh, a congestive heart failure condition. Nobody knows what caused it. And uh, I was in a horrible state before I really realized how bad I was. And I had to come to emergency and, uh, and uh, they started working on trying to get this three liters of water off of me. It was after that that uh, my cardiologist, Dr. Sabbath, and then uh, later Dr. Uh, Seifert both got involved and said, hey, we got some new technology that uh, might keep you out of the hospital. The, the natural history of congestive heart failure is that patients are repeatedly admitted to the hospital for shortness of breath. The CardioMEMS device is the first device in over a decade that has proven that it can decrease hospitalizations for heart failure significantly. Uh, we can put a special monitor into the blood vessels of the lungs that will give us another way of monitoring our patients and adjusting their medicines to decrease their need to be admitted to the hospital. And the patient lays down on a special pillow with a radio transmitter that transmits a signal into the patient's chest which resonates back with pressure information that they can transmit from home. We can follow these pressures on a daily basis, and if we start to see the pressures in the lung building up, we can intervene by changing medications and prevent many of those hospitalizations. They explained to me that uh, this new system would give them advance notice if I'm trending and building uh, fluid in my system, which would cause the pressure in, in, in my heart and my lungs to build up, and they would know it because it's broadcast back to the to their office. The CardioMEMS monitor gives us information on the pressures inside the pulmonary artery, and it's really reliance upon those numbers that allow us to make intelligent and, more importantly, effective medication adjustments to keep our patients out of the hospital. When we're monitoring the CardioMEMS device and we see the pressures go up over several days, we can tell that the patient is accumulating fluid even before their weight has changed or they become short of breath. Patients get a phone call, and it's very interesting because patients are used to coming to us when they feel unwell. And with this monitoring system, we call the patients and advise them to change their medicine. And the patients invariably say, but doctor, I feel fine. And we answer, that's exactly the point. We're going to do this before you feel unwell. Now, I get a call once in a while. Uh, they're really nice. They say, hey, you're doing pretty good. And then I kind of... I'm mm, doing pretty good, so uh, I'm happy to get those ones in a while. The old adage of the art of medicine has previously been treat the patient and not the number. And for a number of different disorders, that may be good advice. Unfortunately, in congestive heart failure, that art of medicine is flawed. And in fact, we do need to treat the number. And this CardioMEMS monitor provides us the number to treat. So we are relying less on our impression of whether or not the patient's medication needs to be adjusted, and more on a hard number that seems to be much more reliable and much better able to decrease hospital admissions for congestive heart failure. I think it's probably one of the best ideas that I have uh, heard about in terms of people with my condition. If you, can get a, if you can get on the front of it, you can live your life and relax a little bit, and, uh, and that's what it's done for me. Really we hope you enjoyed today's show. 
and look forward to seeing you next week with more news and information from the doctors caring for you, caring for Arizona. Until next time, I'm Andy Barnes.